One News. All right, it is officially here, January 1st, 2018, and with the new year. Does it feel of different? Course, you think it feels different? Like, new year, new me. <laughs> Right? Okay. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know what that means. <laughs> that means it's going to be my year. All right. But, well, you know, with the new year comes a lot of superstitions, and many people have special traditions to bring good luck in the new year, and some of those traditions, of course, involve food and a lot of it. Whether you eat black-eyed peas or enjoy pork dishes, we've got you covered this morning. Chef David joined us this morning. We're so lucky to have Chef David. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Happy New Year. Happy New well, Year. Well, someone got some sleep last night. <laughs> no, not really. Or none, not or none at all, right? <laughs> Right. So it's I all about hot, all night. high on the hog, right? <laughs> yes. So these are all New Year's dishes that will either bring you luck or that are just tradition, like okay. you say. So um, I, first I want to start off with some black-eyed peas. So typically people um, boil these. First of all, this is how they look um, at night. And so you want to just soak them in water. Okay. And then once they expand, this is how they look. They look like beans. They're beans. They are beans. Okay. <laughs> they are of the bean family, but they are called black-eyed peas. Okay. These are the real black-eyed peas. Not like Let's get Fergie started. and Will I Am and all that. <laughs> okay, so we want to make a salad. First, we're going to add some uh, green onion, some red bell pepper, some sweet red onion. For a little bit of heat, add jalapeno. If you don't like jalapeno or anything spicy, then leave that out or scrape the seeds out when you chop it. This is a half a jalapeno and some fresh curl leaf parsley. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And some garden vinaigrette. You can make this or store buy it. You know, I'm not going to tell. <laughs> and you just toss this all together. It's like a salad, a black exactly. Bean salad. And this is a black yeah. bean salad. Very so healthy. I like to do this. If you want to do these more traditionally, you're going to put your black eyed peas once you've soaked them overnight in a crock pot with a ham hop. You got to say it like this: ham hop, ham hop, ham hop, <laughs> and do it like this. But also, what's what is great? That? This is a ham bone, a ham hop. Just a, a ham hock. Can you buy ham hock? Can you buy that like no, that? No, I. This was leftover okay. ham bone. <laughs> Are you trying but, to act like you're from the south? Yeah, Carl is. So like, I love <laughs> okay, to say, okay. I love to say ham hock because it's a joke between us. Anyway, so <laughs> another great thing you can do in the crock pot is just throw this ham bone, and then we're gonna make some greens. These okay. are gr uh, collard greens. You right. can also use mustard greens. You can even mix them. But they're a good hearty green. I'm gonna come right over here. Now I like to get rid of these stems because they're very, very, very you don't like eat that. no, and they're they take too long to cook. Okay. So you're gonna cut down the cooking time by doing this. And so how you just Chop greens is you just kind of roll them up like so, and then you oh. want to just do a rough chop on them. And I'm doing about a half inch cut right here on these greens, and then you just take all these and you throw them right in this pot. And Paula Dean would be very upset if I didn't add butter. <laughs> mo butter, mo better. And then you want to help me dash a little bit of Tabasco in there. Okay. There you go. Like a lot or a little? Um, it depends More? on how you like it. I think that's good. It just adds that little vinegary, a little bit of spice, salt, pepper, and you're going to want to chop all these because they cook down okay. and then add this to the pot. And then to round out my New you Year's put this feast. On low? I put it on low and it's going to go for about four to six hours, depending on how many greens you pack in there. Okay. okay? Then to round out my feast for New Year's, this is my herb crusted pork tenderloin oh. with a raspberry Ooh, habanero sauce. Good. Get it? High yeah. on the hog, everything has pig. Yes. <laughs> even even the leftover pig. You, well, you know, <laughs> don't waste, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. And yeah. so this is so, so good. That you start delicious. this in the oven at 425 for 30 minutes. Then you reduce the oven temperature to 350 and cook for an additional hour. Once it reaches 140 degrees, pull oh. it out. The temperature will rise to 150 and you have the most perfect roast looks pork tenderloin. Looks beautiful. And you can probably and make it with a smaller tenderloin too. You can. I of course for TV I had to do it. Big <laughs> <laughs> So happy new year everyone. I'm so glad to be here. I should be on Fox more often. You should come whenever you want. You know, we <laughs> love you. It's here. fun. I mean you gotta lower the volume a little bit, you know. <laughs> no, I had making... lots of coffee. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> Jeff David, we love you. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. We'll Enjoy. Get these, we'll happy get these new posted year. up to the website as well. Let's get over to meteorologist Matt Macon, who uh, I know. So